Yo, what up? It's your boy Ben. I'm a review. Scott Pilgrim takes off the Netflix adaptation of Scott Pilgrim. If you guys didn't know, I read the books back in the day, like a long time ago. I watched the movie with Michael Sarah, so I'm, like, I'm definitely gonna check this out. Now, with all that being said, I know you know what's missing, what's changed. I know all that, right? I mean, it's been a while, but basically, your main story has changed here. Our main character Scott, who you know, in the original one fights. You know, all Ramona Flowers' ex-boyfriends and girlfriends um, doesn't do that this time around. Uh, he gets captured or taken away through a portal. So our main character is Ramona Flowers, which is great. I love Ramona. So and when I started seeing that, I'm like, that's cool. Maybe we get to see some of the other characters that I love, like, you know, Jules and uh, young Neil and uh, Wallace. Wallace is my favorite character, man. Hell yeah. I love Wallace. Anyways. So we get to see a lot of that, uh, a lot of changes though, like even in the beginning when they were playing at the uh, rocket uh, thing, you know, the the venue, uh, Crash and the Boys aren't there, which is weird. They're, they were there in the comics and in the movie, but that's whatever. Uh, what else changes? Um, the exes, this time around, instead of fighting the exes, we, we, do get, we do get a lot of fights, by the way. But this time around, Ramona's actually making up with them, uh, you know forgive uh, you know, asking for forgiveness apologizing so that's a, that's a nice turnaround i actually enjoyed that uh you know different point of view instead of just killing them you know essentially uh you get a closure you you know you help them out you become friends right and um the ending really paints a good picture that i want to see more of this i want to see a sequel yes i mean they, they could have just been lazy and you know copy and pasted the uh, books which is great because uh, there's a lot of backstories and a lot of characters that didn't get to shine in this one, such as Envy Adams, who was a big part of Scott's past. You know, as other characters too, I can't think of right now. But yeah, you get what I'm saying. But definitely <laughs> the way they played it up, and uh, I love my girl Jules, right? And Gideon, there's going to be a sequel, definitely for sure. Um, be waiting for that. Hopefully, we get the same voice cast here, which was amazing. Uh, now let's talk about the most important part of Scott Pilgrim because it was an indie band, right? How's the music? Well, to be honest, it wasn't my cup of tea. It wasn't that bad, but it wasn't it wasn't for me. I don't think it was. I mean, I would have gone heavier, more punk, you know, especially when you're you're with um, you know Lucas. But that's just me, right? Um, with that being said, though, what would I give Scott Pilgrim takes off, right? Mm, that's a good question. Um, probably gonna have to give it an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully you guys check it out. It's on Netflix. Uh, like I said, hopefully we get a sequel. But Netflix is notorious for canceling their cartoons, man. So I don't know. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good vacation. Those of you that are on Thanksgiving break, check you guys out in my next review. Peace.